Hey everybody, Rob here, and in my hands I have the Samsung Galaxy Admire 4G from Metro PCS. I've only had it for, I don't know, about 10 minutes in my hand. I've been messing around with it a little bit. Um, I think that this is going to be Metro PCS's uh, top selling 4G phone for the Christmas season just because it is a really great looking phone and it's priced right. I believe right now that this is priced at only $169. That's very inexpensive for such a great looking phone and Samsung just makes a, a fantastic product. Um, most people love the white so I'm sure that um, they're going to sell a ton of these. Let's get into the phone a little bit. Obviously, you see the color. It is white, but it also has this nice chrome edge that goes around the whole perimeter of the phone, which just gives it a more upscale, uh, classy look. It's got the regular stereo headset jack right up here in the top for listening to music or you know watching videos. On the uh, left side of the phone, right here, you've got your uh, volume toggle switch up and down. On the bottom, you have your micro USB charging port, and on the right, right here in the corner, you have your dedicated power button. Um, unfortunately, the phone did not come with the 4.0 ice cream sandwich in it. It is rocking the Android 2.3 gingerbread platform in there. Um, I was kind of wishing it would have ice cream sandwich, but at the price point that it's at, I guess that we you know can't ask for too much. But uh, in terms of the display, the display actually is really beautiful on this. Samsung just does such an incredible job with their displays. As you can see, it's very color rich and it's very vibrant, uh, very bright. And obviously, you can even adjust that brightness so it can be even brighter than that. And it is rocking Gorilla Glass on this phone. So even though it's a less expensive phone, you're getting high quality materials here. Gorilla Glass, which is supposed to be scratch resistant, not shatter resistant. Um, what else in terms of memory? Let's take a look at the memory internally on this phone. Go to settings. Okay, available storage is 1.3 gig, 38 gigabytes internal, and it also does come with a two gigabyte uh, micro SD card that comes standard with the phone. So you're talking like almost four gigabytes of space. Uh, between uh, the internal memory and what you have on the SD card and it will support up to a 32 gigabyte uh, memory card on the phone. Uh, also it does have stereo Bluetooth on the back it has a 3 megapixel camera and it does have the LED flash on here and obviously you can do video recording as well and it does have the forward facing camera uh, for FaceTime. Uh, in, in terms of transitioning in the speed of the phone, it's very responsive. It does not have a dual core processor. It has a one gigahertz processor, um, and I believe it's five twelve megabytes of RAM. Not quite sure, hundred percent on that, but I will find out for you guys and just leave a message below. But I believe it's five hundred twelve megabytes of RAM, one gigahertz processor. Uh, in terms of uh, text messaging. It's going to be, you know, pretty much standard text messaging that you find on any Android device. It's going to come uh, loaded with the the swipe keyboard, which we have right here, the swipe keyboard, and it also is going to come with um, the uh, Samsung keyboard. All you have to do is press inside the message box here, select input method, and then there's the Samsung keyboard there. Me personally, I am a fan of the swipe keyboard. I've gotten used to it, and I love it. There you go, and obviously you can turn it horizontally and get the full QWERTY keyboard. Like that and it transitions pretty smoothly. Um, again, I haven't used the phone too much yet, and it, it isn't activated, so I can't show you internet speeds or anything like that at this point in time. But um, I think that at the price point, again, one sixty nine for the holiday seasons, and being that it's such a good a good looking phone, I think that it's going to sell a lot. It does have. Um, a 3.65 inch display, kind of an odd number there. Uh, usually you either see 3.5 or you know 4.0, but this is 3.65 inch display, so it's going to be a little bit larger than your LG Optimus M Plus or your regular standard uh, Samsung Admire. So all in all, uh, great looking phone, pretty sleek, pretty slim, and pretty classy looking. Uh, as I mess around with this more and get more details about the phone, obviously I will get them to you ASAP. And I hope all of you have a great holiday. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and make sure you share these videos. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.